the sorrow. Getting over you, well it's 
There's another song, man. Uh, Ron always told me, uh, you don't, you don't have any groove songs. I was like, what? You don't have any groove songs. They don't groove. It's like uh, all my songs groove, dude, bro, bro to bro. Anyway, I was like. So then I had to figure out which three songs of mine he thinks grooves. Uh, and this isn't one of them. Anyway. I wrote this song in the uh, Lamar County Jail. That's where it took shape. I was in there for uh, what they call revocation of probation. I was pulled over there in Paris, Texas with a roach, no bigger than this, and it was in my shirt pocket in a duffel bag that they dug through and found and arrested me for, which I had a year probation, which I immediately fucked up, and there was warrants out. So I had to go and uh, pay my dues there, man. I had to do like a... Uh, it was supposed to be 30 days there, but it ended up being like 11. Because I was a trustee. I mean, in Paris, I am a fine, upstanding citizen in the prison system. Man. But anyway, my, uh, my bunkmate there in my jail there was named Eddie. And Eddie was in there for cooking dope. He had him a little meth lab down in the woods. And according to him, he wouldn't even fucking be in there if it wasn't for his wife. Stole all his dope money with his best friend and fucked him. They ran off with all his dope money, called the cops and told them where his lab's down in the woods. And that's why I was in there. I was like, wow, dude. I just had a marijuana roach and I get out tomorrow. That kind of sucks for you though, right? Cause he wasn't even, he was, a, he, was, he was in a waiting cell, you know what I mean? Like he was just waiting to find out how long he had to go to state prison. Life was not good for Eddie. I think he probably got more than that. But I wrote Eddie a song, God damn it. I don't remember his last name. But I'm sure I'm gonna give him part of the royalties. <laughs> 